the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 271, Ezra 5 to 6, Zerubbabel's Temple. The people who were energized through the rebuke and encouragement of Haggai and Zechariah finally finished rebuilding the temple and experienced great joy. First point, through Haggai and Zechariah's encouragement, the Jerusalem Temple Reconstruction Project began again. The Temple Reconstruction Project, which had come to a stop for 16 years, finally resumed. However, they were faced with more obstacles. Tatenai, the governor, sent a letter to Darius and tried his best to legally stop this project, but no one could stop God's vision or plan. Second point, the Persian King Darius carefully checked the report written by the governor of the west of the Euphrates River concerning the Jerusalem Temple Reconstruction Project. The reasons the governor sent a letter to Darius were the following. The first was because he wanted to know who had commanded this project. The second was because of the answer the returned captives gave to his question. The elders of Israel answered that they were the servants of God and admitted that South Judah had fallen because of their sins. The third was because they wanted to check whether this project had actually been decreed by Cyrus of Persia. When Darius received this letter, he started the investigation and found a scroll in the archives stored in the treasury in Babylon. The main point written in Cyrus's decree was first that Cyrus himself indeed commanded the temple reconstruction project. The second was that the funding for this project was to be given by the Persian Empire. The third was that all the objects taken by Nebuchadnezzar to the temple was to be returned to Jerusalem. Third point, King Darius of Persia commanded the governor of the west of the Euphrates that the Jerusalem temple reconstruction project would be funded by tax money. After discovering the decree of Cyrus, Darius gave an order not to disturb the temple reconstruction project and to furthermore assist them. Darius commanded that the funding for this project was to be carried out by tax. The offerings for the Jerusalem temple would also be funded by Persia. The Persian Empire knew that the Jews were a nation who prayed to God and so, this was to ensure that they would pray for the kings and the princes of Persia in the newly restored temple. Darius, moreover, commanded that anyone who rebelled against this would be thoroughly punished. As such, the temple reconstruction project, which had been stopped for 16 years, was begun again with the support of Darius. Fourth point. The temple reconstruction project came to a stop for 16 years, but then it took four years for it to be completed once it started again. Eventually, the Jerusalem temple was restored. The project was supported and funded by the Persian Empire, and so the whole procedure was abundantly carried out. The prophets Haggai and Zechariah also were crucial people in this project. And now the temple was ready to be used for offering to God. Although the scale and ceremony of the offering was much smaller compared to the one done by Solomon all those years ago, it was still a marvelous sight. The fact that Israel could come before God and make an offering again was enough. The fact that the returned captives could keep Passover again was like re-establishing a kingdom of priests. 
fifth point. The Persian Empire helped with the temple reconstruction project and at the same time they burned down Babylon. Whilst the Jerusalem temple was being restored, the opposite was happening in Babylon. When Persia came to attack Babylon during the reign of Cyrus, the Babylonians willingly opened their doors, but when Darius reigned, Babylonians suddenly closed their gates and claimed that they wished to be independent. Thus, Darius took his soldiers and tried to attack. However, due to the Babylon walls being indestructible, the Persians were stuck outside. After some scheming, the Babylonians eventually opened their gates. The returned captives who were in Babylon for 70 years would have realized God's plan whilst seeing this. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.